What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be making a highly requested video um, and this is going to be how to count your macros. Um, it's okay if you don't get it at first. It's really confusing. It's really confusing for a lot of people at first. But I'm going to do my best to break everything down for you guys and to kind of hopefully break up some confusion because I know getting started with this is really hard. But I have a lot of people who ask me about this and I want something for them to be able to go to as a reference just to kind of help them and to help them understand what even is a macro. So um, don't worry again if you don't get it right away. I plan on making a whole series about this. So this first video is just gonna be kind of an intro into counting your macros, what the heck is a macro, and how to kind of get started and just to understand it a little bit better. It's a little hard to get at first, so bear with me. But here we go, I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get into it. Well first, I'm gonna start by telling you what the hell a macro is. So, when people say, oh, I'm gonna count my macros or um, I need to fit this into my macros. What they're talking about is a macronutrient. So there are three main macronutrients, okay? So you have your protein, your carbs, and your fat. Those are the three main macronutrients. You need every single one of these macronutrients to have a good, healthy, sustainable diet. So let's get into it let's talk about protein first protein protein breaks down into amino acids in your body um, protein is great for building and maintaining muscle um, with protein you're getting four calories per one gram so now we are going to move into carbohydrates Carb carbohydrates are your number one energy source so Carbs are where you get your energy to work out, where you get your energy to just live your daily life, live a normal life. They are your number one energy source. Carbs are gonna be break, broken down into glucose in your body and the glucose is what we use for energy. So when people talk about carbs, there's two kinds of carbs. You're gonna have your complex carbs and your simple carbs. So your complex carbs are gonna be things that are slower digesting like cereal, oatmeal, pasta, rice, things like that that you're not gonna use immediately. Whereas simple carbs are gonna be an immediate source of energy. So like candy, um, honey. That's why you see people eating like Sour Patch Kids right before they lift because they need that energy right away. It's an immediate source of energy. So that's what simple carbs are but for right now let's kind of treat car all carbs the same so carbs are carbs carbs are broken down in your body the same let's treat all of them the same okay carbs as well as protein are four grams are four calories per one gram because carbs are your immediate energy source the carbohydrates that you're not using so if you're overloading your body with carbs your body only needs a certain amount of carbs for that energy so the carbs that you're not using are going to be stored into uh, it, they're going to be stored into fat storage which in turn creates fat um so again too much too many carbs can create fat the macronutrient is fat which is kind of known as the most misunderstood macronutrient but your fat is going to be another source of energy um we tend to pull energy from fats when our carbs are scarce. So usually people on a low carb diet will look to their uh, fat macros to kind of use that as energy. Fats are broken down into fatty acids and like I said, fat is still an essential part of everyone's diet. It is so important to have fat in your diet. There are tons of different kinds of fats but we're not really gonna get into that yet. Like I said, with carbs, let's kind of treat everything the same for now. Fat is fat, carbs are carbs, protein is protein. Fat is a little bit higher calorie, so fat is gonna be nine calories per one gram. Those are the three macronutrients. That means when people are saying they are going to count their macros for the day, 
they're counting their entire intake for the day of your protein, your carbs, and your fat. Now that you guys kind of know or have an idea what a macronutrient is, let's get into some examples of that. So, for example, we're gonna start with protein. You're probably wondering, okay, well, where do we even know where, like, how do we know how much protein is in something? I personally didn't pay much attention to food labels before I started counting my macros. I had no idea really what it even meant at all. I never looked at nutrition labels. I had no idea what they meant. But first, I'm gonna give you guys some examples of protein. So, egg whites. These are just plain egg whites, no yolk. You have your nutrition label. Okay, hopefully that could focus. But this is the nutrition label. So as you can kind of see, I hope you guys can see this, you have your total fat, which is gonna be zero grams. You have your total carbs. Is this upside down? I don't know, I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> Your total carbs, which is going to be zero, and your protein, which is going to be five grams. I think that's what that said. Yes, five grams. Okay, so with that, that tells you how much each macronutrient is in this. But you have to, have to, have to pay attention to the serving size. So the serving size is usually right here at the top. So for example, this serving size is three tablespoons. So for three tablespoons of this, it is going to be zero fat, zero carbs, and five grams of protein. There is an app for this, so it makes it 10 times easier. And um, I will explain what app that is and everything, but you don't have to like calculate this all on your own. There's an app that does everything for you. I use it every single day. But anyways, this is going to be example an example of just your protein macros. Okay. Our next example of um, a main protein source is just going to be regular chicken breast. Um, well, okay, these are chicken wings, so there's going to probably be some fat in it. Yes, there is a lot of fat in this, but you guys get the idea. So we'll kind of say this is a protein and a fat combination, I guess. But for example, again, you have your nutrition label. Okay, so at first you wanna look at the serving size, which is four ounces. So with that, you have total fat of 16 grams. You have zero carbs and protein is 18 grams. That is an example where you're gonna get both protein and fat because there are foods not every food is solely carbs or solely protein or solely fat there's a lot of food with every single macronutrient in it which i will get into an example of one of those later but this is an example of one with protein and fat um kind of combined in that as well but for example so regular chicken breast um let's say the serving size is four ounces is usually gonna have zero fat, about 20 to 25 grams of protein, and zero grams of carbs. So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what some protein macronutrient would be. Next, we are going to, going to move into carbs. So a really common carb source, um, these are just regular rice cakes, um, are rice cakes. Um, these are just gonna have carbs in them, so this is an example of only carbs. Okay, so you have your serving size, which is one roller, and for one roller, you're gonna get zero fat, 10 grams of carbs, and one protein. Okay, those are the main ones you need to look for. Fat, protein, and carbs. So this is going to be a main carb source. Finally, I'm gonna show you an example of fats. So, this is avocado oil, which I've actually never used before, um, but I'm actually at my sister's house, so I'm just finding what she has. Anyways, so let's look at the serving size. The serving size for this, you wanna pay attention to that first. Serving size is one tablespoon, okay? For one tablespoon, you're getting 14 grams of fat, 
zero grams of carbs, and zero protein. So this is a main, main fat source because it only has fat in it. Those are gonna be some examples of protein, carbs, and fat. So now I'm gonna show you an example of a food that kind of has a combination of all three macronutrients. So a really, really good example is peanut butter. Let me grab that. Here we go. So peanut butter, right here, just regular peanut butter. If you look at your serving size, it's gonna be two tablespoons. Okay, for two tablespoons, we have 15 grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein, does that say? Yeah, eight grams of protein. So peanut butter is gonna be an example of a food that combines every single macronutrient. And it's very rare that you find foods that just have one macronutrient because a lot of them are gonna be made up of like all three if not two at least two um so that's a really good example of something that has every single macronutrient in it tell you about the app i use and i'm going to show you guys an example of like a made up person's macros and how to kind of do everything and how to use the app so the the app i use is my fitness pal um there is a paid like a premium option that you paid for that a lot of people actually pay for but me personally i've used it for like three years and i've never ever i still don't pay for it um so you can you can use it without paying for it i use it every single day on prep um yes that is the app it's really awesome because it actually can scan barcodes so for example, let me show you guys. This is what I mean by it's way easier than it's kind of putting it out to be. So this is like what the app looks like for your day. You're gonna have meal one, meal two, meal three, blah, 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 okay? So there's actually an option where you scan this barcode. I'm scanning the, olive, the avocado oil barcode. And it literally brought it up right there so avocado oil just like the serving size says this literally just tells you the nutrition label 14 fat zero carbs zero protein and then you can track that um, and have it add up to your day's worth of macronutrients so it's way easier with this app you definitely don't have to do anything by hand but yeah so I'll go over, I'll probably make a video on how to use the app because a lot of people have trouble with that as well. Let's get into an example. Um, let me start by saying that I literally just made these macros up. These aren't mac my macros. These aren't anyone I know. These are just made up macros. Um, so don't go and call a person. And their, pro their macros are going to be set at protein. 135 grams, carbs, 180 grams, and fat, 60 grams. Okay, so this is gonna be our little made up person. Since these are the macros, your whole day of eating, you want to add up to this. I just have the macros that we're trying to achieve for the day. So protein, 135 grams, carbs, 180 grams, and fat, 60 grams. We're gonna do an example of say breakfast. Say for breakfast, we're having egg whites, Um, oats and peanut butter this is just a random breakfast that we're having those three things in turn I have my egg whites my oats and my peanut butter Okay, go to my diary. 
let's go to tomorrow. I have my goals set in here, so you can actually set this up yourself. We're trying to hit 135 grams of protein, 180 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat, just like we have here. This is our meal one. I'm going to go to my scanning tag, and I'm scanning my egg whites. And that, it has egg whites, Kirkland. We have the serving size set to one cup because that's how much egg whites I am going to have. For one cup of egg whites, you're gonna have 26.7 grams of protein, zero carbs, and zero fat. So I'm tracking that. It's basically like a food diary. Okay, so that's gonna give you how much egg whites you have. Okay. So then next we're gonna move on to our oatmeal. So just like we did for that, we're gonna add food and we're gonna scan our oatmeal. Keep in mind that you don't have to scan everything. You can just type it in as well. But okay, so here we go guys. This particular oatmeal, the serving size is gonna be a third cup and it's going to have two grams of fat, 27 grams of carbs, and seven grams of protein. I'm going to add food. Okay, so I have my egg whites and my oatmeal. Next, say we're gonna add some peanut butter to my oatmeal. We're gonna scan the peanut butter. Turn that showed us that this particular oatmeal or this particular peanut butter has for two tablespoons, 15 grams of fat, seven grams of carbs, eight grams of protein. But I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. So say you don't want that much fat. Say you have a lower fat diet. This particular person is pretty high in fat, so it's okay. You can actually change the serving size. So say you just wanted one tablespoon of peanut butter. You're changing the tablespoon, you're the serving size to one tablespoon. And, for, and then it adjusts every single macro. So for one tablespoon, you're gonna have 7.5 fat, 3.5 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. There is our breakfast. That's our very first meal. That is our breakfast. So we're gonna go down to goal, nutrition. And for this whole breakfast, we have a total of 38 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs and 10 grams of fat so that's what we ate for our very first meal now as you guys can see this is the goal that we are trying to get this is our total that we've had so far with just our breakfast and this is what we have left so for the entire day we still wanna get 97 grams of protein, 149 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat. So like I said, this app literally does everything for you. You guys kind of saw a little example of like a breakfast, for example. Um, you kind of have to play around with your macros for the rest of the day. So it's kind of like a science experiment because you have to say, oh, how much of this can I have to total how many carbs I'm getting for the entire day. So like I said, it's going to take a lot of practice, but something that really helps me is that I like to either the night before or that morning kind of make a meal plan. So I say, okay, what am I craving today? Say I'm craving, say I'm craving like cereal, okay? So I know that cereal is a little bit higher in carbs. So cereal is going to be the very first thing I track for the day. So say I wanna have a bowl of cereal at night. When I go in to make my meal plan, I'm gonna track my cereal as my very first thing. That way I can kind of plan my meals around that. So um, with that, it really helps to kind of make things more flexible because if you want something, you can have it. Counting your macros, there's a lot of misconceptions about it. It's not just 
eating pop tarts all day it's not just eating um, donuts and ice cream you really want to make an effort to have nutrient dense food because for example if you're getting a Krispy Kreme donut which I think has about 22 grams of carbs and two fat if you want to eat that compared to if you want to eat a huge salad you would have a huge huge salad and a little donut I personally would want the huge salad because it would satisfy me more because I'm eating the whole entire thing and I'm getting I'm getting more full and more satisfied than if I were to eat this little tiny donut that has the exact same amount of carbs that this huge salad has. You really want to make good, healthy, conscious choices when it comes to figuring out what you want to eat. But if you want to start counting your macros, I 100% recommend it. It is something that has seriously changed my life. I would, will never, ever, ever go back to a set meal plan. Um, well, I almost biffed it. Um, and it's going to take a lot of time and practice. I didn't even fully understand it when I started. You kind of just have to jump into it and play around with it. And um, yeah, it's going to take a lot of time. But your main thing is you have a total goal for the day you have a total goal of a certain grant certain amount of protein a certain amount of carbs and a certain amount of fat and every single thing you're eating for that day you want those to add up to your exact set numbers i always joke around like when i'm trying to figure out what to eat for my last meal I'm like, gosh, this is like a science experiment because maybe I can only have half a tablespoon of peanut butter to equal how many grams of fat and protein and carbs I'm having for the entire day. Hope that kind of made sense. This is going to be a little intro video to macro counting. The next video is going to be how to actually set up your own macros. So let me know if that is actually something you guys would be interested in because I definitely do want to make that video. It's a lot, it's actually a lot easier than everyone thinks and there's no set macros for a 135 pound girl um, who is five foot and you know weighs 140. If there's two girls that have those exact same stats they're still not going to be on the same macronutrients everyone is so individualized that you kind of have to play around with it but i am going to make a video on how to set up your own macros this is just kind of an intro video to get everyone started and to understand what a macronutrient is and to understand those servings those um, nutrition labels because that's where you find all of the information um about that a lot of people don't even know that but that is where you're finding exactly what's in all of your food and how many grams of carbs are in that and how many grams of fat are in that and how many grams of protein are in that particular food thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it helped anyone if there's anything i can do better or anything i can do to help communicate this is a little bit easier. Please let me know. I'm super open to feedback, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and please like and subscribe for more content. And if you have any ideas or questions or anything you guys want to see, please leave it down below and I promise I will get to it. But thank you and I will see you guys in the next video.